And there's a picture that basically says it all so far of how this series has gone in the NBA Finals between the Lakers and the Celtics. Obviously the Lakers unable to win either one of the first two games in Boston. Boston looking pretty good in the first two games as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, obviously in game one, it was a back and forth game. You know, uh, there was a huge Paul Pierce incident when Paul Pierce had to be carried off the court. And uh, then, of course, later on than that, he comes back out, gets the huge ovation from the crowd, and that basically gives the Celtics the momentum, puts them over, and gives them the victory in game win, in game one, able to uh, pull away from the Lakers and win that one, and then in game two, obviously. I did not see the majority of game two, although I did turn on, I did uh, turn it on in the fourth quarter, and um, while this, in during the fourth quarter, the Lakers were being blown out. I mean, it was a huge lead for the Celtics. The announcers were even saying the Lakers were gonna pack it in and uh, count their losses and go see what they were gonna do in LA. Looks like the, the Celtics fans were completely out of it. You know, they weren't making any noise at all. Um, and obviously the Celtics completely packed it in. Um, the Lakers started to come with this huge push and then the Celtics tried to turn it back on again and they just couldn't do it. And then the Lake and they were just able to survive uh, by like four or six points winning that game. An extremely close game, but I think this game might be pivotal for this series because even with the Celtics winning that game, which team left with momentum? I'd have to say that the Lakers left with momentum. I mean, it looked like they were going to get blown out of Boston. It looked like the, the next day that, you know, all over the TVs, all over the radios is going to be, you know, the Celtics blow out the Lakers, not even close. But then the Lakers prove that they can play better than this team if they put their hearts to it and they really do the best that they can do and play up to their ability. Um, of course, the Celtics have the huge advantage, though. They're still up 2-0, and people can argue a win's a win, and you can't argue with that. Um, obviously, I think the Lakers have a chance of winning all three games in L.A. How many games has Boston won on the road to this playoffs? Uh, one? I can't one. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they've only won one game. The Lakers have proved that they can win on the road, and obviously they're going to have to win on the road if they want to win this series. And uh, the Celtics are going to probably have to get one of these three games too um, to finish out the series, obviously. They don't need to get it. They could win in a home court, but I don't think the Lakers are going to lose one of the last two if they even get that far. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to say there's maybe a 30% chance that uh, the... Lakers can win all three. Uh, if the Celtics win one, then obviously they're in pretty good condition. They only really have to win one of the three games in LA to have a good chance of finishing out this series. And if they win in tomorrow's game, I think the 